Now, quick show of hands. How many of you have flown through Minneapolis? You've been through the Minneapolis airport. Nice and high. Okay. Several of us in the room. Maybe you've seen the shoe shine throne in Minneapolis. It literally is a throne. It's about this high off the terminal. There's four or five bends. I have a two-hour layover, plenty of time. I step up in line, and these guys are going lickety-split. Pow, 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 pow. Sweat is flying. Energy is rampant. It was Emerson who once said, nothing great was ever accomplished without enthusiasm. Never has been, never will be. These guys are enthusiastic doing what they do. I step up in line. They're going lickety-split. Bam, 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 bam. Pauses momentarily. Says, good afternoon, sir. My name is Maurice. I'm your new image consultant. Okay. He's right back at it. He's talking to the gentleman he's working on. He's talking to me at the same time. Pow, 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 pow. I think I've seen you here before. Nice shoes. I'll be with you momentarily. Bam, 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 bam. I overhear them conversing. Next to him is Rick. On the other side is Steve. Rick gets finished. His client steps down. His shoes are perfect. Client reaches into his pocket and gives Rick a 20. Pow! He says, keep the change. Rick has a shaved... Oh, now, before I tell you that, a shoe shine in Minneapolis is $4. You with me? Four dollars. He gives him a 20. Pow! He says, keep the change. Rick has a shaved head. He is covered in sweat. He sticks a 20 on the side of his head and runs out into the terminal with his arms in the air, and he is yelling, another satisfied client! (laughs) Totally turned on. Shining shoes. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but I doubt very seriously if many of us grew up aspiring to be a shoe shine specialist when we were small. And yet these guys are totally stoked doing what they do. Rick now come, comes back. His booth is empty. I'm waiting for Maurice. He, he says to me, Mr. Ray, he's heard my name and he uses it. Mr. Ray, would you like to step into my booth? I said, no, I'll wait for Maurice. After all, he is my... You guys are good. Maurice doesn't miss a beat. He's going, bam, 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 bam. He said, you made a good decision, Mr. Ray, because I can tell you're the kind of guy that likes to go first class versus... Coach! <laughs> totally excited. Shining shoes. Steve is now finished. His gentleman steps down. Cowboy boots. Boots are gleaming. Client reaches into his pocket and gives Steve a 20. Pow! He says, keep the change. Steve has a ball cap on backwards. He sticks a 20 up into his hat and he runs out into the terminal and does some kind of jig that I've never seen before. <laughs> I promise you don't want to see it either. Totally excited. Maurice has finished. The exchange occurs. It's now my turn. I'm up in the booth and he is talking to talk. Mr. Ray, I went to SHU University and I graduated with honors. <laughs> I can spot a shoe in a nanosecond a mile away. Any type of shoe, I can spot a shoe. Rick is getting a little competitive. He says, oh, Maurice, I can spot a shoe before you can spot a shoe. Maurice says, no way. They're both going bam, bam, bam. They say, I think you've got on Kenneth Cole. I said, nope. Ferragamo. <laughs> Maurice freezes. He says, Mr. Ray, I'm going to give you the chairman of the board, intergalactic gleam. (laughs) I got to tell you, first thought in my mind is, how much does that one cost? (laughs) Totally excited. I'm done. I step down. My shoes look great. I reach into my pocket. I say, here's the going rate, and I give him a 20. I reach back in, and I say, here's something for your enthusiasm, and I give him 10 more. Now, Please agree with me that $30 for a shoe shine is ridiculous, right? (laughs) But let's also agree that I did not pay for the shine. I paid for the enthusiasm. I paid for the experience. Quite frankly, I paid for a damn good story. (laughs) You see, it's not what you do that determines your success, wealth, or fulfillment. It's how you... Beautiful. Please remember that. Please remember that because you see there's two levels to any game that you play. There's the what you do, which is in the external world. And many people do that. Many people do what you do. But there's a how you do it, which resides in the internal world. And that's why you, like me, can observe two people side by side doing the very same things in the outer world. And one of them is knocking the roof off of their potential. And the other one is just barely making ends meet. Do you know two people like that? Because you see, it's not what you do that's going to set you apart. It's not what you do, it's how you...